Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Happy Saturday. This week's little ditty is called Ecstasy. I slaved all week at work and by the Friday I was haggard, removed my lunchbox lid and by the contents I was staggered. Within my two-foot lunchbox, filling all from end to end, was the mother of all bananas with an 85 degree bend. Transfixed I was transmogrified by this mighty fruity phallus. I couldn't just consume it, that seemed barbarous and callous. So I snapped from every angle, photographing yellow peel. Bit once was hooked, uneasiness I soon began to feel. It was just too big, too yellow. The rich taste was just too strong. From bliss I passed to horror, when I realised what was wrong. This narna was unnatural, sending shivers through my bones. Some evil, grasping capitalist had laced it with hormones. They do the same to chickens, enhance the flavour to make you buy one. They've got no necks but tree trunk legs, like they've been pumping iron. I dropped the fruit and stared aghast at fingers I'd been licking, outraged that someone spiked my fruit with hormones from a chicken. Or was it strange preservatives that swelled the fruiting pulp? Or steroids overpowering me at my first delicious gulp? Just one more bite I needed. One more bite and I'd feel cool. But my glazed eyes caused alarm. I was beaten back by the typing pool. It was hot inside the office with no natural breeze and yet I'd never in my whole life seen my own palms drenched in sweat. Cooped up, I strutted in a flap, went searching for a towel. The feeling spread, and fairly soon I was feeling rather foul. Not hungry now, but peckish. Should I shy off work, head home? Friends ruffled up my feathers when they offered me a comb. Some chased me round the office, but I was way too wild and manic. Petrified a fox get in, I chased about in panic. The police were called and cornered me. Would I go with them, please? The typing girls exclaimed I was off my face on ease. I found myself arrested, lightly grilled and much confused. Were the drugs in my banana somehow linked with Bernard Matthews? But Costa Rica grows them, and it's near Colombian soil. Should I heat my diced banana and inhale from metal foil? Or have scientists designed them cloned so they don't rot on ships? While going to that bother, why not fit the skin with the zips? If they're packed with potent alkaloids or tiny cannabis rocks, they should stick on Hascam labels and fit child security locks. If you can't trust a banana, then what can you trust these days? I grew to be dependent and my mind in constant haze. So I'd steal and rob and lie and for fat foreigners turn tricks, ensuring every single day that I'd afford my fix. Squeeze one like a pistol, force the soft flesh up my nose, or inject it in my thighs and suffer weight gain in my toes. But I'm fighting now, confessing, in a group of futa bruisers. <laughs> Abusers! Confronting it shows courage, proves we're not a band of losers. We're banana-flavoured patches, relieving stress, so it's been shown, when pushed beyond endurance, banana-flavoured methadone. We confess and bond and primal scream, rebirth from a plastic womb. The group is so enlightened, like Betty Ford and Ilfracoon. And that which don't destroy us makes us strong, or so our hunches. So we nurture strength of spirit, cause life's problems come in bunches. The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and press the wee bell notification. And a huge big thank you to all my subscribers, patrons and members. See you next week. Bye bye.